right, here is a quick overview of the Pinpointer Pro software that is used uh, by real estate investors to analyze real estate markets, analyze cities, and determine exactly what price point, what areas you need to be buying in. So uh, here's kind of the, when you log in here, here's kind of the home screen, and you can either rank cities or you can go to go to my cities. These are the cities already added in there. Now, if you need to create a new city list, you can see here you can add a city in there, all of the, the necessary information, uh, name, you know, city name, the population, and those things autofill. Supply and demand, this is the available properties, uh, investor purchases, and available properties, you know, you can just get off of realtor.com, investor purchases off of list source, and then more data. Uh, to put in there to kind of determine what cities are best and then once you have all your cities you kind of can can compare them all and this these are all the cities that I had analyzed in here so there you go once you have them all in there you can analyze them and you can determine which cities are the best green is is good red is bad yellow is is also getting getting bad as you can see they're yellow the the thing that we look for is this P ratio over here this is all the necessary data that we put in but the P ratio kinda determines it's I guess the ratio they use to compare population size amount of inventory and amount of um, demand in the area so we like to look at right around a 7 P ratio is kinda 7 I'd say actually six to eight somewhere in there is really good. As you can see there, Charlotte uh, turned out really good right there. Billings, Montana is actually not bad. Now the higher the P ratio, that means the more inventory is on the market and there is less investors. The lower the P ratio, that means there's not a lot of inventory and there's a lot of investors. So that's why I personally would rather be in a, a city with lots of inventory as opposed to no inventory. So there's a quick overview of that. So now what we want to look at is cities. Now what you can also do is you can throw in your cities that you're working here and analyze them. So uh, what you can do is you can add a city and what you do is upload all of the cash sales for that specific city. So we're going to go to Tulsa, Oklahoma here. So you can view the, the dashboard. So here is the, the starting dashboard. And wh what you can first do is you can upload your sold property data. Now we already have our property data and the, these are all of the cash sales from the MLS. They are stored in here. Now you can see there are tons of them 945 entries these were cash sales for the past three months in Tulsa Oklahoma so we have those in there now the next thing you can look at is view your maps you don't really have to do much with the the sold property data just enter it in there and then just leave it you know you don't have to to worry about once you do have it in there going in editing saving them deleting anything you know just don't mess with that section so the next thing we can look at is maps once it loads sometimes it takes a little while for for this stuff to load just because there is 945 data points that it's gonna map but this this software the reason why it, it is so good is just because it allows you to quickly analyze markets find the hot areas and then once you do have houses that either you're making offers on listed property or even um, off-market properties we do a lot of direct mail to these areas you can go into pretty much any zip code that that you want you can go to this tab here sold price per square foot by zip code you can go into that tab there type in a you can either I guess upload a list of the properties that you want to you want to go after or you can just type in a zip code um, and we'll get to that in a minute. I think this is taking a long time to load just because of me recording this. And then also, you know, there is a not a not a ton of entries, but you know, it, it just sometimes takes a little while. But back to the the sold price per square foot, you can just type in your zip code, and you can see exactly what other investors are paying per square foot in those areas. So. It really, really makes your your life easier when determining 
what to offer and you know running even just comparable sales it's because you know this is exactly what investors are paying so you know exactly where you need to be and you don't need to to run on the MLS so here you go here's kinda um, all the the zip codes mapped and you can see here um, you can click on a zip code there's 15 cash solds in that zip code broken arrow 43 cash solds and it gives you them all here so you can kinda see the the good zip codes where where everybody's buying and if you want say for this 43 one more data on it you can click view and it'll bring up you know all of the the sales just in that one there were 43 of them and you can figure out more info there you can also then go to view graphs and this gives you a little more information so you can see that 207 of the properties most people are buying between the 20 and 40,000 40 and 60,000 also is pretty big and once you get up here it starts tapering down 1 to 20,000 117 so not quite as as many as per se up here um, just because this is probably you can buy under 20,000 these are more ghetto areas and then you can also see here they have them zip code at go zip coded out um, so let's jump into the sold price per square foot now as you can see here there are 312 um, different entries and that would be there's usually what is there depending on the zip code three or four you'll have two bedroom one bath three bedroom one bath two bedroom two bath uh, sometimes four bedroom two bath like this one has has four four entries here so that's kinda what you're you're looking for and you can see it it tells you exactly from analyzing the data what people people in this zip code are for three bedroom two baths are paying forty five dollars per square foot and these are cash sold so these are cash investors so let's type in a zip code here here's a, a deal that I was just analyzing earlier so in this zip code here you can see it bring up I was looking at a three bedroom one bath um, around fourteen hundred square feet and you can see investors are paying about twenty dollars per square feet I usually just round down you know um, you know if it's this close 27 I'd even just round down you better better to side on the the low side I would say so you're looking at here so twenty dollars per square foot we're looking at a fourteen hundred square foot house so investors are paying twenty eight thousand for fourteen hundred square foot houses so that makes it really easy so you can make your offer based on what cash investors are are paying um, if you're looking to wholesale the property, you can, you know, chop off five, six grand, eight grand, whatever you need to to below that twenty, twenty-eight thousand, and you know that's that's what makes it easy. You can type in, you know, other zip codes. Let's type in another one. Um, you can see this zip code here. We got three bedroom, one bath, three bedroom, two bath, and this zip code is a a little hotter zip code than the last one people are paying um, you know between fifty dollars and thirty nine dollars for houses in these areas so that really makes it easy use the the pin pointer pro software to analyze your your data so that is really all I have for for you right now this is a just a quick video overview of the pin pointer pro software that I I use in our business every day that's it, and I will talk to you soon.